Look at, at the setup for Track Skull. I got the PC here with a little addition. This is the Track IR camera um, by Natural Point. This is the version 4. This allows you to do all the head motion tracking. That along with, I find it, uh, let go. Um, this little guy. This has got the little sensors on it. Oops, touching the screen there. Um, and this lets you, this is basically what you put on the Bridget hat. Um, and it has little points, reflective points that the camera will see. Um, next we have is the Medusa DMX board done by Brian Hook. I talked about a little bit about this on the Helmsman application, but you basically got eight servo controls, eight switches, and eight LEDs. Um, great board, does the job. Um, control on that is the Open DMX USB um, by Antec. Um, that's sort of your USB to DMX conversion. Let's see on the other side. Well, actually, let's see. So I have the wires from that coming out to a cat cable, network cable, onto the skull. Again, we have a similar type of connection over here, and that brings you to the servos. Um, besides that, I have a joystick. It's the micro. Who makes this? The Logitech Attack 3. Um, and that's pretty much what you'll be what we'll be using. Hi guys, it's Nelson again of Monkey Basic with the camera. How you doing? Um, we're gonna go over a track skull now. I know a lot of you have sort of been anxiously waiting for this one. It's taken a lot longer, you know, to develop than I thought. Um, a lot of feature creep, you know, not a bad thing, but you know, sort of extra features that were added, which I wasn't really planning to do at first. Um, so let's get let's do a general overview of the system and um, show you what we have available here. Um, you know, we have a file in the bout here, and let's go down the left hand side. We have load audio file. Now this is just a file that's going to play in the background while you're recording. Um, any wave, MIDI, MP3 file can play in the background. Uh, we have a camera. So this is your track IR camera, which you know it's right up here. And you see if I bring my finger up to it, you'll see a little split. It'll track my finger. Um, next is your joystick. The joystick is what I have right here, which is a Logitech Attack 3. Um, pretty cheap, you know, on Amazon or anywhere else. Uh, next are some sort of recording controls. Well, first is the center. This lets you um, sort of set your zero point when you're for your head tracking. Um, so center is center and you're not, you know, crooked. Um, record, start recording, a stop button, and we have a replay, which will replay your last recording. Um, and you have to export the VSA. So what this does is this would create a file that can then be imported into VSA. So you can, you know, whatever you do here, you can, you know, save it to VSA to play it again later, which is sort of the idea. Um, down here is tweaks. We have input tweaks. Um, so what this does is, you know, so this is this line. Your, this acts as your input. This is your output. Um, pretty much, it gives you sort of a dead zone in the middle. So if you're inputting over here, you know, you're not outputting as much against this line. You know, so if you look at the screen line, you know, if we're, we're at 25% turn, we're only outputting, you know, 3% or something small like that, so. But then there's a large, you know, uh, increase in, in the outsides. So if you want that sort of dead spot where you don't have the jitter in the middle, then this is what you want to do. Um, I suggest a, a filter of one. And then head track smoothing, this is just an averaging algorithm. Um, sort of takes your last point and, you know, averages it along. Um, you can put this up to max. The more I put in the max, the more sort of delay, small delay you'll see. Um, next to that is puppet mode. This is where, this is basically all the servo control. So if you don't want to save the VSA, you want live action, this is where you gotta go. Um, the controller, we, get, we have different types, mini SSS, mini SSC, um, standard SV203, Parallax, Lolo, CS, SSC32, and DMX 8-bit style. For ports, um, depends here. I have COM, uh, I have COM5, and I have an NTEC. Um, basically, for ports, you know, wherever, whatever your the control is connected to. For me, that's connected to the NTEC. Um, and baud rate, this become this is live only when you have a COM available because you you don't need it for the NTEC. So connect button, and of course the big big button is the servo settings. Um, this is where you'll see this head tracking server parameters and joystick server parameters. This is where you let set the servo number, the min, default, and max. So in VSA, you know, you have those, what channel, um, 
which is the servo number, and then the minimum, the volt mass. So this should mimic your VSA setting if you're using VSA. And this will let you also, um, last line, this will let you reverse. So if you're noticing, hey, my head's turning the opposite way, you can just hit the reverse button. Um, then we have buttons. So this is a joystick. I'm talking about joystick stuff right now. So we have the button. So when button one is pressed, we go to position 170. When it's normal, um, unpressed, we go to 127 and punch it. So and you know you can enable and disable whatever ones you need. And, and so let me hit OK. And this is your feedback for your joystick. You can see that it moves with the joystick. And then we have the buttons. So they'll go green when I hit the buttons. Up top here, I mean the majority space. This is your, this is the feedback from the camera. This is what the camera's seeing. And this is sort of a representation of what your head's doing. Um, and you'll see this once we um, sort of set that part up uh, in a later video. Great.